Hello there, Swaza here and this is just a quick tutorial on iMovie. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for each new feature in iMovie 11 and it costs £8.99 I think or around about $10-$15 in the Mac App Store. So we want to go to a new project and I'm just going to name it Dongy Madre. And this tutorial is about the trailer so one of my favourite ones is the spy one and you can choose any one you want, I'm just doing the basics and it tells you, it should give you a preview if it wants to load there and it gives you a preview for of, of the trailer so I'm just going to open this up and the name of the movie is going to be Agent Donny Madre is back. So that's a nice title to kick up. I might change it later and I'm gonna I'm not really gonna write oh, right, twenty eleven Agent uh, and male Donny Madre. So you just want to fill in all these details, all those me, and you can choose your intro. So I prefer this one. It's very nice. So and then once we've d done the outline, we want to go to storyboard, which gives us our um, t timeline for our trailer. And it asks, I've got all my clips down here in this event. And it asks for a close up. So I'm going to find a close up shot. Maybe not that one, that's a bit too close up. Actually, yeah, I'll just do that one. So about there. You just click there and it should work. If I just press play. Oh, I didn't, it's going very slow. So as you can see at the end he looks at the camera which is, can be quite effective if you, as you, like right here. See it has quite a lot of effect. So we want another close-up. That's not really a close-up. I didn't I'd, if you haven't filmed many close-ups, you can do a medium shot if you want. Like I film, that's quite close-up, but I'm just going to look to see. I don't think I did do any other close-ups. So I'll just do this one here. So you see, you can just go through, these are all the titles, you can even change to what they say, but I just wanted to say what it is. So I'm just going to press play here. As you can see, it's uh, very laggy. I think that's just my computer, but see, that's very effective. The camera movement there, and then the circle closes in. Then this text. So we want an action scene. So we click on that. I'll just drag this down here. So we click on that. So it's outlined in yellow. So whenever this. Um, <laughs> I've got a good clip here actually of, of running just which is sort of action so when you just go here there looks very nice and then we want the landscape as the tension builds up for the trailer so I've got some landscape, sh landscape shots here I'm going to do on there so it'll be like this And then onto another action shot, so there it's outlined in yellow, so so I've got this. No, that's not really action. I'm just looking for a, the right shot. 
think I've got a few good action shots. I should have. Oh, here's a good one. So, we'll this is only going to be point out of a second, so it's very short. Just running. So, I don't want it to be exactly there. I want him to run run around the corner, so I'm just going to drag this over a bit. So he does actually run around the corner. Oh, and there, as you can see, he runs around the corner, and then I just press done. So as you can see, we've changed the beginning of the clip and the end. So it's gonna be here, there. So we're gonna another action clip. This, if I can find one. Here's the. It's just jumping out of there. There. It's, it's my computer is going quite slow, but once we finish, you'll be able to see. That. Oh, I have this fire scene. Right, it will look very effective. Yeah. See, it looks some sort of something's going to explode from that. If I can find the right next clip. Um, another for this template, the spy template, we. I need a lot of action scenes. I think I've got plenty of action ones. I'll have this one here. Yeah, that's quite. Um, you don't want shaky camera movement, but sometimes it can be okay, as you'll see here. Oh, sorry. Let's see how this looks. As you can see, it's only half of a second, so we sort of. Actually, I'll drag that over to there, since that. 3.7 of a second. See, as you can see, it looks as if something's chasing him, but I think it goes on for too long actually. So I'm going to drag that back a bit because I think we want to add the fact that some, it looks as if something's about to kill him or something. So, so. There, that looks pretty cool. So just a 0.5 of a second action scene. This one will be good. If we just play that there. Whoops. Uh, that's not. That's. Since we only have half a second, we want to. You, we want to see him lying on the floor. So that's a good. That's good. So we'll just press play. Yep, that's okay. So we'll just go down to the next title. So, we want a wide shot, mainly a wide shot of our main character. So here's, I don't know, um, some main wide shot. Here's a good wide shot. So if we press play here, as you can see, he starts to turn around, which it looks as if he's about to do something, which is very good. Ancient Nine, yeah. Another wide shot. If I can... So we don't want them... A few bits where he looked at the camera here. We don't want that unless it's for a specific effect. So, mm, maybe not that clip. Mm. That's not a really wide shot. That's more medium or close-up. So we'll have, let's just drag down here a bit, to these clips, that might do, I'll just play, oh, oops, that's very good, but we can sort of see that he's talking to someone behind the camera, so we don't want, so we'll just Drag that back a bit. Okay, so we need an action shot, so I'll have this one. I had one up here, I'm gonna it. With him running. If I can find it. Oh. We'll use that. We can, if we accidentally choose the wrong clip, we can just drag it over to 
medium shot, which is what this shot is. So he's opening something, so I just want to click that and drag it over a bit. So we actually see him opening it up. But without, I want to take away the camera shaking this. So if we press play, that looks very effective. Because you don't actually get to see what's in the box, but we see that he's opening a box. That's not an action scene. Here's a good action shot, but in a half a second. We need to be very, very concise with the... Uh, you need to ha pack a lot into half a second. Because if it... Mm, that's, that, that should do. I'm not trying to be too serious with this um, trailer. It's meant to be sort of just a funny trailer. So if we press play... Yeah, we want to... Sh you need to tell the audience who your main character is through the clips. So all, I think all of these clips actually have him in. Who's our main character. So we need another wide shot. Nope. So this, so this would be a good wide shot. I'll just press play here. Oh, very slow. Sorry about that. There, that's very good. So we've got a few action shots here. And a few would like So, we need an action shot. So, this is, it's not really action, but it's sort of a running about, which adds the effect. I'm not sure why it's going so slow, it's just... Yeah, you can see very frantic trying to go somewhere with a suitcase. Um, a wide shot. So we need a wide shot. I've got... I think I have a good wide shot here. This is one and a half seconds. It's not... Uh, no, that's running. We don't want running. Wide. Here's a good wide shot. So I'll just go from the start there. Uh, that does get quite annoying a lot of the time. So another action shot. I've got plenty of action shots. I could use that for a wide medium shot. Okay, so this is a good action shot him running and as you see he, he slips at the end which is quite cool so I'll just I'll just play from here actually ah oh, it's a bit lucky but once it's exported into the final file I'll put it on the screen so you can see it now another action scene we need a lot of action scenes here So, that'll do. Just him walking across. Another action scene. And this is going to be where the other main action starts. So, I'm gonna. I've already used this part, so I want to do another one where he's slightly further. Here. Show that. Whoop. I'm just. In trouble with the computer. There. Seems fine. So we're almost finished. Just we need a few more action shots. So I'll do. That's good. That's one and a half seconds. We have plenty of fit in there. So this will be a good one. I just want to have some of this. See how that looks. Now I want to sort of. No, just show him picking up the phone at the very end of the clip and then have him on the phone in a different clip, a few clips there. So I'll see him typing in there and then he starts to pick up the phone and we can see that and then we'll cut to a different action shot. So I'll just look for a good one. Yeah, here's a good one. There, and then we'll cut to a landscape. I've got a good landscape one. Right here. It's not exactly a landscape, but 
is the best I've got. You've got to make make the most out of all your clips. So now we've got a wide shot. So I had a good shot earlier, I think. Nope, not that. Yeah, here's a good wide shot. <laughs> so that's quite funny. You don't want to make your movies too well. If you want to make them serious, you can. But I like to make mine slightly funny as well. Now, if I can just find that clip, the phone clip. So here's the phone clip. So I want to have another scene of him just like that. So it's him on picking up the phone and talking, and then down the matrix. So only two more, three more clips left, and then I'll start to export it. So close up. We had a good close up somewhere. I believe. I can just find it. I guess I didn't do many close ups. But you'll learn from my mistakes. Well, you should. So, this is sort of a close up. Shows him talking. And then our next clip medium. So I'll do. I had one. A nice shot here. I believe. It. Yeah, here's a good shot. So actually, I want to just drag that. Let's clip down to that one instead. Agent 9. And then. Whoops. Agent 9, and then... What's going on? Computer is very slow today. Okay, there. Agent 9 just turns around looks at the camera. So we want a medium shot for here. Um. There. And then we're done. So... So I'm just going to go to share and go to export movie and I filmed it with a 720p camera so I'll do 720p and Donnie Madri trailer and put it in desktop and click export and I'm just going to stop this tutorial now and then you can just watch the trailer now. Okay, bye.